This is Cassius Calhoun, and you're watching Piedmont Football Insider. I'm with Kyle Owens, linebacker for the Piedmont Wildcats. And Kyle, a big win for you guys on Friday, your first win of the season over Western Heights. Um, you guys did a great job on offense. You also were pretty stellar on defense. Uh, tell me, what is the defensive side of the ball doing right in week three that maybe you guys weren't doing so well at when the season started off a few weeks ago? Um, we've worked on tackles a lot. We had problems with that in the past, so we've been working on that. Um, We've also worked on flying to the ball, so we're always doing it. Yeah, yeah. Talk about your work on tackle. So what are some things specifically you guys have been doing in practice? I mean, what are some of the, I mean, tackling is obviously a fundamental part of the game, but what are some of the techniques that the coaches have been talking to you guys about? Um, dropping our hips, making sure, chopping our feet, bringing our hips through, and just taking them to the ground. Yeah. Uh, talk about your game specifically. I mean, headed into this year, did you have any personal goals for yourself? or, or And are, can you kind of assess the way that you feel like you've been playing this year so far? Um, well, my goals have been to step up, start. Um, I'm a sophomore, so I try to improve my game as much as I can. Um, yeah. What was the other question? It was just kind of just how, you, how you've been playing this year. Uh, you know, and you are a sophomore, so, you know, one of the younger guys out there on the field at times. But is there any part of you that also feels like a leader? I mean, being a, a starter out there at times? Um, sometimes, yeah, I try to take part and get the guys fired up and see if we can get them moving a little faster and see if we can get them to find the ball. Yeah, yeah. One and three start, district play starts this week, so now it really counts. Uh, you guys have a big uh, match with a road game against Elgin. Uh, talk about that game a little bit. What do you guys have to do on the defensive side of the ball to come out of there with a win? Um, pretty much defense. We need to make sure, wrap up, play our hearts out, and make sure we can keep up with them. Yeah. So, all right, Kyle, thanks so much. Good luck this week. Thank you. touchdown pass that you caught. Um, now, I want to ask you to kind of go through that play a little bit with me here. I mean, you were lined up at the backfield, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, and uh, went in motion before the snap, and this was a screen pass over here to the left side that uh, that you caught and just took off and they couldn't catch it. Can you kind of talk a little bit about that play? Uh, well, we have a lot of screens. Uh, one of them is, um, uh, it's basically the one I ran. You, know, you get out in um, your running back formation. And uh, you see the motion left, motion right. And uh, depending on where the quarterback throws it, it might be in front of you, it might be behind you. Um, basically, it is to, <coughs> excuse me, to get the outside linebacker uh, walled off. Um, our linemen take care of that real good, as well as our receivers. And uh, for me to make a cut and get upfield as fast as I can. And it just worked out. Yeah. I mean, and you're lining up as a running back, and, and, and Friday's game, this is the only pass that you caught. Um, but, I mean, do you feel like you've got the, the, the versatile skills to be able to be a threat in the backfield, whether it's catching the ball or, or taking a handoff? Uh, I believe so. Um, I've been putting in uh, numerous uh, formations to where I'm receiving the ball as well as running uh, the ball. Um, it's, but as far as the receiving, you don't really don't get much at the, the catching during the game. But when I do, I try to take it as far as I can. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're lined up as a running back, I mean, you're given the ball before you ever get up to the line, and preferably before you ever get touched by the defense. But when you're like a screen pass like that, a little dump pass, 
I, I mean, you're having to focus on catching the ball and knowing that right after you catch it, if not the second that you catch it, you know, a, defen a defensive player might be on you. I, talk a little bit about that. I mean, how, how do you go about focusing on making that catch and then preparing for the hit? Uh, we, we really practice it a lot, honestly. Um, like I said, uh, Colin's got a nice touch on the ball. Um, if he gets it to me, I'm always focused on catching the ball first and then making the first defender miss and then getting up field. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the quicker I get up field, the quicker uh, the, the receivers can get off their blocks onto the up the field to more blocks. So it, it just works out like that. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a screen, but it's kind of just like getting me up the field, basically. Yeah, and there was a lot of good blocking on that play. And we're here at the 50 where that play started. At what point did you know that you were uh, in zone bound? Uh, well, when we run into practice, I usually get uh, get out pretty quick. Oh, then I usually make one or two cuts. I had to make two. And that one because I had a middle linebacker uh, scrape free a little bit over the top. And um, I, I don't know if I got touched or, or not, but um, I made like two two cuts and got a field. So I guess after the first cut, kind of. All right, I'm here with uh, James Green. James, you guys had your first win of the season against Western Heights on, on Friday. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier in the show about the defensive side of the ball. Talk to me about the offense. What were you guys doing well on Friday that, uh, that led to that first victory? Our line's really come along strong these past couple weeks. Uh, Coach Jackson's been working with them on technique, strength, staying low. And they've really created a lot of gaps. You can see our backfield gets tons of rushing yards. Then the defense has to account for the rush. Our pass opens up. Really just the team as a whole is really solidified lately. Our system's really started to flow, doing really well. Yeah, you know, and you talk about that system. It was a new system this year with the new coaching staff or a new head coach. Uh, has that been a little bit of an adjustment to get used to? And if so, do you feel like in week three, week four, you guys are starting to get the groove of things? No, it is, but we're used to it. These past two years, we've had a head coach two or three of the times. And uh, we're kind of used to learning a new system each year, but we've really taken this one really quickly. And uh, we've had our bus have gone to almost zero this past week. So we're starting to learn the system really well. I yeah. Think. Talk about this system this year, this offensive system. What do you really like about it as an offensive player? Really, it gives everybody a chance to make plays. We don't just focus on, all right, we're going to give the ball to this guy every play, we're going to throw the ball every play. It really spreads it out well so the defense can't really play our tendencies very well. And Coach Church has a really good idea system playing now. Yeah. A district play starts this Friday. You're going to have a tough match in Elgin. There's going to be several tough matches. Uh, after Even coming off of a win, what do you feel like you guys still need to improve on uh, to make that playoff run? Got to work on finishing still. Uh, you saw last year we'd always die off in the second half, and we haven't seen that as much this year. But it's always a danger. You know, we always have our conditioning after practice, but we still have that problem of we kind of lose our mental focus halfway through. And I think if we can just keep that from being a problem. We'll do fine. All right, James, I appreciate it. Good luck this week. Thank you. This is Cassius Calhoun. You're watching Piedmont Football Insider. Inside. <laughs>